party. All right, thank you, John. Yeah, I'm back here with Leslie Boswell, who is a Common Ground volunteer from the Shickley area. I feel like we should have our red on today, shouldn't we? Oh, God, we should, darn it. Well, Didn't think of that. Got Friday and Saturday to do that. Oh, well, I'll have it on. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, you'll have it on. Are you going to the game? No, I'm probably going to be at the State Fair, hopefully watching the game. I'm sure they'll have big TVs up there. They the are. Radio bland. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a great recipe, though, for people who are tailgating on Saturday. These are mini taco bowls? Yes. Okay. What I did with these is I take regular tortillas. Mm -hmm. I cut them into smaller sections, and I used, I just used a little lid off of a cup. Or you oh. can use you know, anything about three inches. Okay. Whatever. It doesn't make any difference. I've got regular taco meat. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit of that in there. And you place that into your little muffin. I put it in a muffin tin. Mm -hmm. I've got taco meat. We've got salsa. We've got black olives. I've got cheese. Put all of that on there. Bake it for about 15 minutes, 12 to 15, mm -hmm. until it gets nice and gooey. Or, according to the recipe that I gave you, you can go ahead and bake the taco shells first. Oh. And then you could set up like a taco bar People and let fill. everybody fill them in. One thing that I would might change is it called for tomatoes. I would use salsa. Mm -hmm. You can add green chilies to your meat. Um, I might put just a little bit of refried beans in the bottom first and then put the meat on top of that. Right. So this is another one of those deals mm -hmm. where I always say make it your own and you can do just about anything with it. So a little cheese there on top, we go. whatever you want to do. You can do that. So again, Walk me through how you cut these to make them smaller. Okay, I took a regular tortilla. Mm -hmm. This one's a burrito size. Okay. I can get three of them out of there. And I've got a biscuit cutter. So you could use that. I could do that. It's a little mm -hmm. bit small for this size, but if you use the mini muffin pans, right. it'd be perfect. Okay. I tried it. It worked. Or you've got another or lid here. I just found this. It's got <laughs> kind of a... <laughs> I like that lid. Hey, it worked. Yeah. So I just, on a cutting board, I just put that okay. on there, worked it around a little bit, kind of, it perforated it mm -hmm. kind of, you had to tear off the edges. So this is about but, the size you want for muffins. About a three inch deal. Perfect. Okay, great. So really, you know, when you tailgate, you want something that's easy just to pick up. Yes. And so you, you brought do. some other slider options here I too. did. And mm -hmm. on sliders, it's kind of a new big thing, but basically it's any kind of sandwich you want on a small bun. Okay, and so what that do you have here? That defines a slider. I have got cocktail Rubens, mm -hmm. I've got Philly cheesesteak, and I've got ham and cheese, and it's pretty much whatever you can put on big bread, you can put on little bread. Ooh, and yeah. they're just, I put mm -hmm. just a regular sandwich, the corned beef, the cheese, the Thousand Island dressing, and the sauerkraut, put it in the oven, heat it up for a little bit, long enough to, to uh, melt the cheese, and like you can lay them out. Mm. Mm, I like Rubens. I love Rubens. Mm -hmm. This is very, so, very good. I think uh, John Chapel's here from the zoo. He wants which one? He wanted the Philly. Philly cheesesteak? Philly cheesesteak. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> very good. All right. Thank you for the mini taco bowls. We can't try them today because you left them on your daughter's stove. I did. I made some this morning, and they are now sitting on my daughter's stove. At, so, mm. darn it. Sorry That's about okay. that. When you're in a hurry in the morning, I get that. <laughs> you can forget things. But I'm sure yes. they're very, very good, and we will have the recipe for you on our Pure Nebraska Facebook page. Back to you, John.